Welcome back to Fast Cabling Tech Enthusiasts. In our previous video, we took a deep dive into securing large-scale IP surveillance using fiber optic ring networks, covering the basics and benefits of setting up a ring network for robust IP surveillance. And today, we're taking it a step further, talking about how to make that network truly scalable with a solar-powered ring network. And this solution is ideal for remote off-grid locations, where traditional power just isn't an option. And to kick things off, let's recap our last video. A fiber ring network is perfect for surveillance, offering redundancy and false tolerance. Even if a link breaks, the network keeps running by rerouting data in the opposite direction. And fiber optics let you cover vast distances without losing signal quality, which is especially handy for monitoring large areas like farms, oil rigs, or industrial sites. But setting up a remote network like this one comes with its own sets of challenges, mainly around powering the equipment. When you're setting up surveillance in places without easy access to electrical infrastructure, powering the cameras and networking gear can be a massive hurdle. And harsh weather conditions in rural or industrial location add even more difficulty with outages or equipment failures, meaning backup systems are essential to maintain uptime and protect valuable assets. So this is where solar power steps in as a highly effective off-grid solution. So solar power is a perfect fit for powering remote surveillance system. It's clean, renewable, and helps reduce the cost of ownership by cutting down on utility bills. And with proper planning, it offers continuous power day and night. No more worries about being out in the middle of nowhere. And not to mention, solar energy systems are modular, which means they can grow with your network needs. All right, now let's talk about the main components you need in a solar power system for your ring network. First up, the solar panel. You need the right panel size and capacity to meet your system's energy need. You can consider your cameras, switches, and other networking gear. Also, beware of the sunlight availability, as production will vary by region. Higher efficiency panel can make a huge difference, especially in cloudy or shaded areas. Next is the battery which store energy for nighttime and cloudy days. Batteries come in various types, but I recommend lithium-ion for higher efficiency and longevity. Make sure to size the battery for both daily consumption and the number of days you expect cloudy weather. Trust me, you'll thank yourself during stormy seasons. Finally, the charge controller. This device is crucial for protecting your battery from overcharging or over-discharging. You'll find two main types, PWM and MPPT. And for better efficiency in varied conditions, MPPT controllers are worth the investment. Now before we dive into the setup, let's balance out the pros and cons of using solar power. Advantages are solar is environmentally friendly, with no emission and reduced carbon footprint. Over time, it saves you money on bills and maintenance. So it's perfect for remote area where power isn't available. But initial setup might be a little higher. And performance can be weather dependent. However, with the right charge controller and battery setup, you can navigate these challenges smoothly. And now let's go through a step-by-step -step setup of integrating solar power into your ring network. First, calculate your daily energy needs based on the power consumption of your cameras, switches, and network gear. And then factor in battery autonomy. Usually, two to three days of backup power is a good rule of thumb. And lastly, take into account the daily solar exposure for your location. This gives you a solid base for choosing panel and battery sizes.
And MPPT controller are ideal here, as they're efficient and adjust to changing sunlight levels, crucial in remote areas where you may get cloudy weather. Now we are looking at our all-in-one solar power kit. So it has the solar panel, the battery, and the charge controller all built in one, which is pretty convenient. So let's start our connection. So now you are looking at the starting point of our rain network. We have our industrial managed switch. I'm going to use the fiber optic cable to connect it to the first outdoor PUE switch and to the second one, which is solar powered. And to the third, and finally the fourth one, and connect it back to our industrial switch to form a complete ring network. So first, I'm going to use this ethernet cable to connect our industrial managed switch to the network video recorder. So we can display all the video feed on our big screen monitor. We are looking at two fiber optic cable with the SFP transceiver. The first fiber optic cable is going to our first outdoor PUE switch. Now, when you're selecting network switches, you should look for rugged industrial rated switches that can withstand extreme weather, especially for outdoor installation. And PUE support is a plus, as it powers the cameras directly, simplifying the entire installation process. Now you're looking at our PUE port connecting to the bullet camera, not only to power it, but also sending all the data. And our two fiber optic cable, one from the industrial managed switch, and the other one is going directly to our second outdoor PUE switch, which is solar powered. Now you're looking at our solar power kit with a solar panel, battery, and charge controller all built inside. And this is a voltage booster. Since the solar power is generating 12 volt voltage, that's why we'll need this voltage booster to boost it up to 48 volts for our outdoor PUE switch. And connect it directly to our switch here. Now let's connect our fiber optic cable. As you can see, our fiber optic cables are pre-made. So it's so simple. All you need to do is plug it inside our SFP transceiver. And then use the ethernet cable to connect it to power up our bullet camera. Now, integrating the IP cameras into a ring topology provides strong false tolerance. If one camera goes offline or a cable get cut, the network reroutes and keeping all your surveillance uninterrupted. So it's perfect for an outdoor surveillance system. And now we are going to our third outdoor PUE switch. As you can see, it's all connected and powering our bullet camera. And finally, to our fourth outdoor PUE switch. And this fiber optic cable is going directly back to our industrial managed switch. Now let's take a look at our big screen monitor. And I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is an absolutely a live video feed. And next, I'm going to give our ring network a little test. I'm going to unplug one of the fiber optic cable to see if the cameras will still be working. I'm going to unplug the fiber optic cable from our second outdoor PUE switch. And then let's move on to our big screen monitor. As you can see, all of our cameras are working perfectly fine. Again, in ring topology, if one connection gets interrupted, the data will reroute and go on to the other side and eventually back to our main station. So it's like a safety net for your surveillance system. Amazing, isn't it? And the use cases of the solar power system are vast, from remote monitoring, and IoT sensors to even providing Wi-Fi access point for large areas.
And here are some essential tips to keep your solar power surveillance network running efficiently. Regular maintenance. Clean your solar panel periodically to maximize sunlight intake. Check battery health as this can keep your power supply reliable. Also consider using IoT-based monitoring tools to keep an eye on power system and network devices from afar. This way, you'll spot potential issues before they escalate. In an extremely remote setup, you might want a hybrid approach with a backup generator. This adds reliability, especially during prolonged cloudy weather. And also invest in durable weather gear like UV-resistant cables, corrosion-resistant enclosure, and equipment that can withstand harsh weather conditions. And for energy efficiency, Enable low power mode or schedule downtime for cameras during non-active hours. Every bit of saved energy can help in an off-grid system. So there you have it, a complete guide to creating a scalable solar-powered rain network for remote surveillance. With the right setup, you can have reliable, renewable power keeping your system secure even in the most challenging environment. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech solutions. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.